Welcome along. It's 12 noon. My name's Daryl, and thank you for joining me here today at zoomogos.com. And welcome to our Zoom at noon session. Today we're doing the matrix. Um, so I've got my uh, damper set down at about 110. Uh, in the summer spring season, I like that a little bit lower. Uh, I want to get it in, get it on, you know, get that catch, and then get that drive on. So I have it just a little bit lighter uh, than I do in the winter months. But let's get set up. Please press menu, select workout. New workout, intervals, intervals, variable. Your first interval will be time. Please input time. And it will be seven minutes with three minutes of rest time. Seven minutes with three minutes of rest. Of course, we'll be stretching during those three minutes. Please press tick. Then your next interval is also time. Please press time. You will input 10 minutes with one minute 30 rest. And that'll be the first of your training blocks. 10 minutes with one minute 30 rest. Please press tick. Press time again. 10 and 130 comes up again. Please press tick. Press time again. 10 minutes and one minute 30 comes up again. Please press tick. Please press time again. 10 minutes and one minute 30 comes up again. Please press tick. Then your next interval, which will be for your cool down, is also time. Please press time. Three minutes, no rest required. Three minutes with no rest required. Please press tick. And then please press no more intervals. With that said, your session is set up. We are going to be constructing our stroke over the first three minutes of our warm stroke rates of 20, 22, 24, and 26, a minute each. Then our three minutes of stretches, and then we push on into interval or training block number one, and I'll talk you through all of that. But for now, I'm going to ask you to creep back super slowly to backstops. Sitting up nice and tall, fingertips soft and just around the front of the handle. Shoulders are back and down. Arms only in three, two, one, go. So we rode to start just that. Back stops, hands only. And we're constructing our stroke, setting up our hand heights. And that consistency which we'll be looking for of these hand heights, soft hands, shoulders back and down. Of course, my core is engaged. Next stroke, add body rock, go. We'll be staying here for one minute. Body rock is so important for our stroke. Needs to be positive. Keep the length of the arms. Now, if you're just joining us on the live session, please press just row. We're just into our warm up. We're spending one minute here at Body Rock as we construct our stroke, keeping that consistency of hand heights. Our wrists are flat. We're looking to increase that range of motion through the lower back, that flexion and extension, whilst we increase the range of motion through the hamstrings. Quarter slide, go. So we keep everything in place, keep the body rock, we keep the hand heights at quarter slide. Pushing the knees down. Full crew, next stroke, half slide, go. We slow the slide down, giving ourselves time to come into half slide, which will be the front end. A little lift of the hands as we drop the blades in the water before we push back, if that's your thing.
full curve, neck stroke, three quarter slide go. Shoulders stay down. Little lift of the arm to the front end, then we drive away. Full slide, go, and we stroke rate 20. We now get the chance to think about the ratio of our stroke. One second on the leg drive, two seconds on the slide. We keep a little stroke rate 20. It's the first of our featured stroke rates from today's training blocks. All about consistency of hand heights, body rock. We maintain the length of stroke. Next stroke, front end, up to go. We find the extra two strokes per minute off the front end, getting the knees down a little sharper. Keep the hands moving away at stroke rate 22. Keeping that ratio in the stroke. Quicker on the leg drive. More time on the slide to recover as you come forward. At stroke rate 22. Full crew. Next stroke, we're up to go. Stroke break 24. Keep the length of the stroke. Sharp with the knees down. The body rock. We keep a little of the stroke rate at 24. Hold our wrist flat. Little lift of the arm to the front end, shoulders stay down. Next stroke, up two, go. Stroke breaks 24, now 26. Keep through today's training blocks. Pushing the heart rate up, getting that blood flow around the body. Keeping our core engaged, that positive rock. And we're easy or handles are down, feet are out, fingertips around the toes, pressing the knees down into our hamstring stretch. This really helps with our mobility, holding this hamstring stretch, lengthening through the lower back, might get a little release. 
and easy there. Sitting it up tall, your right foot on the floor and then rotate around, zipping up through the core and the shoulders to create a T-shape through the torso and shoulders. Chin is level with the floor. Then we change the other side, please. So we're looking to increase that range of motion through the lower back, around the hips, that help us with our rock over. Then we come back to center crew. Both feet are on the floor, core is drawn in, hands on thighs, heels down, hips up, slowly roll up, rebuild your spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, roll the shoulders back and down, helps with mobility, foot is up behind for a quad stretch, pushing the foot down into the hand, please, for a more active quad stretch. And then the other side, please. Once again, pushing the foot down into the hand. Then I'm going to take this same leg. I'm going to cross it over. I'm going to sit it down. I'm going to keep my hips square, shoulders square. I'm going to open up the front of the hips, lengthen through the glutes. And the other side. And the other side, please. Remember, these are just prep stretches, getting us ready for the work that's going to follow. Uh, centering, centering through my core, making sure I've got my balance, my core engaged. I'm coming down to the floor now. I've got my uh, old man yoga block under my knee and uh, press forward through the back hip, lengthening through those hip flexors. We're lucky a little release once again. And then the other side, please. Hip square, shoulder square, pressing through the back hip, front knee just over the front ankle now. It's not about getting that knee forward past the ankle, only in alignment with, but it's all about that back hip lengthening through those hip flexors. Then we're coming back up, back on board the erg, ready for our first piece, our first training block of 10 minutes. We'll be pushing out stroke rate 20 for four minutes, stroke rate 22 for three minutes, stroke rate 24 for two minutes, stroke rate 26 for one minute. Then it all moves along in training block two. Four, three, two, one, row. Stroke rate 20, steady state. Four minutes, please. You're in training block one of four, and interval one of four. Keep your lid on stroke rate 20. For four minutes. Hands away, body over. All that sequencing that we just built on in your warm up, now in place. Sitting steady state on stroke rate 20. Hands away, body over. Keep that body rock positive. Then lift the arms to the front end, shoulders stay down. All of our consistency crew. Checking back in with your core, making sure it's switched on throughout the entire stroke, not just at the catch. Two minutes done at stroke rate 20. Two minutes remain. Great interval one of four and training block one of four.
driving the knees down. Hands keep moving. Wrists are flat. Hands are soft. Shoulders are down. Add stroke break 20. One minute more, please. Keep the length in the arms. Positive body rock. Keeping a little stroke rate 20. Full crew, next stroke, up to go. Stroke rate 22 for three minutes, please. Keep your fluid, keep the leg. Everything stays switched on. Let's stroke rate 22. Lengthen the arms. So we're taking our blades through the water, transferring that power from the legs, torso, through plates. One minute done, two minutes remain in interval two. Train block one. We keep a little on the rate of 22. We check in with our hand heights. At both the front end and the back end. We're sitting steady state at stroke rate twenty two. We maintain a ratio quicker on the drive, slower on the slide. We're really sad in the Goldilocks zone. Not too heavy, not too light, not too fast, not too slow. Let's throw grade 22. Holding your focus. With me, crew. Next stroke up to go. Stroke rate 24. Two minutes. Knees down. Sharp up. Keep the leg. And heights. Body rock. Sitting on stroke grade 24 for two minutes in total.
Relaxing the shoulders. Good work, crew. One minute done at 24. One minute remains. Interval three or four in training block one or four. Keep the shape of the front and the back. Holding your focus. Next stroke, her up two, go. Stroke rate 26. One minute, please. Keep the length, front end. Drive the knees down, arms um, stay long, length of stroke. Easy or. Well done. Training block one is done. We have 90 seconds. Training block two, three minutes, four minutes, one minute, two minutes. It's all right, I'll remember it. So <laughs> I've got a program like that on my uh, ErgZone app. So take a drink. Open up another window, door, whatever it needs you need to do. It'll stand up, sit down, whatever works for you. Sure, 90 seconds. An extension through the hips, always recommended. Go after that 10 minute piece. So training block one is done. Training blocks two, three, and four, they build from there. And of course, we're looking in our matrix, but we started with four minutes over here we're at stroke rate 20. We're going to finish with four minutes down here. At stroke rate 26, that four is going to move across. The one minute moves across. Making it the matrix. We've got 20 seconds before we push back. Three minutes at stroke rate 20. So uh, that summer has arrived for the afternoon. It's going to get nice and warm. In five, four, three, two, one, rowing on, stroke rate 22 for three minutes, please. You're in training block two or four, sitting on stroke rate 22. For three minutes. Shoulders are down. Core engaged. Body rocks over. Hold the length in the arms. I'm bringing it back down, stroke rate 20 for this three minutes. I was waiting for the cocks to put their arm up then. And, uh, launch a steward's inquiry. 
3320. That's three minutes. Shoulders stay down. Length of stroke remains. Two minutes done. One minute more at stroke rate 20. Keep everything switched on. We keep it on the rate of 20. Full crew, next stroke now up to 22 for four minutes. Checking you with that front end and look at the arms, then drive away, keeping a little on the rate of 22, interval two or four, training block two or four. We keep a little on that rate. One minute done. Three minutes remain at 22. Driving the knees down. Control on the slide. We hold our focus. We keep our hand heights at 22. Two minutes done, two remain. Interval two, train block two. Keep your consistency, holding your split. Core remains engaged. We'll lift the arms to the front. Holding your focus crew. Keeping the power switched on. Three minutes done. One minute remains. At 22.
Keep it on the right. Let's not let it creep up. All about consistency here. Shaking you with your core. Next stroke, up to go. Stroke rate 24. One minute, please. Good transition crew. Straight on it. Interval three or four, in training block two or four. At stroke rate 24. Sequencing stays in place. We're up to go. Stroke rate 26 with two minutes, please. Keep your core through the entire stroke at 26. Control the front end. Holding your focus crew. Keeping a lid on your eight. One minute done. One minute remains. Stroke grade 26. Point over compressing at the front. We're opening up too soon. Keep the length in your arms. Easy or well done. Sorry about that rate in that first interval. Got back on it. All right, one minute 30 to recover. We'll be heading out stroke rate 20, Daryl, for two minutes, and then we'll pump it up from there. So we are looking forward to this next interval. We've done two training blocks, training blocks three and four to come. Take on plenty of fluids. Make sure you are, you're well hydrated. Just gonna open another door here. Get some airflow through the room before we push back at stroke rate 20. In just over 30 seconds time. Is everyone doing okay? Your thumbs up, we're all right. That's good, 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 good. So two minutes, stroke rate 20. In 15 seconds time, 
keeping the core connected, keeping it steady state, all that lovely sequencing with its ratio in place. Lengthen the arms in five, four, three, two, one. Rowing on, stroke rate 20. Two minutes, please. Feet keep a little on the right. If you find your stroke rate 20 split, and you stay consistent to it. Control on the slide. One minute done, one minute remains. That's stroke rate 20. Well done crew, keep the power switched on. Holding your stroke rate 20 split. Slip it is personal to you. Full crew. Next stroke, up to go. Stroke rate 22. One minute, please. We're in training block three or four. Interval two or four at stroke rate 22 for one minute. Keep a lid on the rates, sitting at tall, core connected. Full crew, next stroke, up to go, stroke rate 24, four minutes please. Focus, hold the length, and that speed of leg drive. It's four minutes. That's stroke rate 24. Point over compressing in the front end. Or engage, body rocks, lengthen your arms. One minute done, three remain. That's stroke rate 24. Keep the middle on your eight, holding your focus, driving your split. Well 
Hold strike rate 24. A little lift of the arm to the front end. Shoulders stay down. Two minutes done, two remain at 24. Hearing training block three or four. Keep it on the legs. Holding your focus. And keeping it on the right. 24. Three minutes done, one minute remains. But 24. So this is interval three or four. One more interval remains here in training block three or four. Next stroke up to go. Three minutes. Stroke break 26. The length. The lift of the arm to the front. Shoulders squaring down. Head in neutral. Keep it on the right. Hold it steady. One minute done. Two remains. Check in with your core. Well done, crew. Holding the rate, keeping your sequencing. Those consistent hand heights at 26. One minute remains. Current interval four or four. In training block three or four. Keeping a lid on your right. Keep driving that split. Your split. Good 
ECO. Well done. One minute 30 to recover. Three or four are done. Even I can remember the next one. One minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes. Just sort out my screen. There we are. Have to stand up, sit down. One minute before training block four or four. We're looking forward to this. Getting up to that uh, lovely stroke rate of 26. Holding there for four minutes. So, one minute, stroke rate 20. Two minutes, stroke rate 22. Three minutes, stroke rate 24. We need to stretch. Now's the time for it. Whatever it happens to be, make sure you got enough fluid for this final 10 minute training block. Our final training block of today's matrix session. We're pushing back in eight seconds at stroke rate 20 crew for one minute. Three, two, one, row. Keep it on the right. Check it with your form. Every stroke counts. That stroke rate 20. Check in with your body rock and your hand tights. Interval one, almost done. Next stroke, up two, go. Stroke rate 22 for two minutes, please. We're straight on it. Check in with your sequencing and heights. Leg drive. All at stroke rate 22. One minute done, one remains. Keeping your lid on it, keeping your focus, but stroke rate 22. Interval two or four, training block four or four. Let's put news in there. Next stroke up to go. Stroke break 24. Three minutes. Straight on it. Check it with the front end. Core engaged all the way through the stroke. Two 
sitting in steady state at 24. Keep a consistent crew. One minute stunt to remain. Back stroke break 24. Length of the arms. Positive rock. Holding that focus. Lift the arm to the front, then drive away. Take a video call. Get that leg drive switched on. Two done, one minute remains. Keep a lid on the rate at 24, crew. Interval three or four. Training block four or four. Shoulders back and down. Head in neutral. Hold the focus. Eyes on the earth. Next stroke up to go. Stroke rate 26. Four minutes to finish. Keeping a little on that right. Positive rock. More engaged. One minute's done. Three now remain. Wrist stay flat. Hold your focus. Looking good, crew. And heights, body rock. Two done to remain. Four sets of 13 strokes.
three sets of 13 strokes. One minute at twenty six. Thirty seconds at twenty six. Easy. Well done. Oh, good job, crew. Nice work. Four blocks done. Slowly have to stand up. Take on some fluids. Just checking in, we're all good. Well done. We have just over 45 seconds before we push back, stroke rate 20, full slide, front front stops, deconstructing our stroke over three minutes, just to help to flush the legs out and bring the heart rate down. Once again, make sure you've got plenty of fluids. Good airflow through the room that you're in really helps. It really helps to maintain that core body temperature on these warmer days. So we'll be pushing back. Stroke rate 20. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Deconstructing our stroke in our cool down. Three quarter slide go. Sequencing stays in place. Core remains engaged, hand heights remain consistent. Next stroke, half slide go. Once again, check in with your hand heights, body rock. Sequencing about stroke remains, even at half slide. Full curve, quarter slide, go. We're stay flat. We're still pushing the knees down.
Hands and bodies go. We'll stay here a little bit longer to lengthen through the hamstrings, work through that range of motion in the lower back, keeping our hand heights. Keeping that connection with your core. And arms only go. And easy or crew. Great work. I'm going to have my feet up. I'm going to have my fingertips under my toes. I'm going to slide back in the seat to get my legs down flat to lengthen through my hamstrings. We're nice and warm, so we can afford to spend some time here, letting the hamstrings lengthen. Keep the extension through your upper body rather than collapsing and rounding the upper back. I'd like to keep that extension because uh, that's what we ask for on our rock over, on the ergo or in the boat. Now we're sitting it up, please. Your right foot on the floor. We rotate around, please. T-shape through the torso and the shoulders. Chin is level with the floor. As we remobilize our lumbar spine, we've been set in one position, moving through one plane. And we slowly come back to center. We swap it over to the other side, please. Sit it up, zip it up. Looking back over that shoulder. And slowly coming back to center. Little variation here. We're just gonna push the bottom of the seat, fingertips under toes, slowly straighten the legs, then slowly rolling up vertebrae by vertebrae, one at a time, rebuilding your spine like Legos, one on top of the other, then roll the shoulders back and down. Good job, step to the side, please. We've got our foot stretch. We're gonna push the foot down into the hand. Pressing that thigh forward, pushing the top of that same hip forward. Then the other side, please. Foot is up behind, core is engaged. Great, let's cross that leg over. Let's sit that down, hips stay square, shoulders stay square. Opening out the front of the hips. Little glute stretch on the other side. Little press down here. And then the other leg, please. Pressing it down, core engaged. There you go, keeping that balance, press there. Easy there. I'm gonna invite you to come back down to the floor, please. Okay, front foot is out in front of the knee, pressing through the back hip for a hip flexor stretch, those large muscles across the hips. Front knee just over the ankle, only just. We might get a little release and lengthen further in the back hip. Oh, there it goes. Oh, other side, please. And hips are square, shoulders are square. Oh, lengthening through that back hip, pressing forward. Let's make it active, get the most out of it that you can. And easy there. Well, crew, thank you so much for uh, joining me today. And I was a little bit on short notice today, but we, uh, we got there. I am back on Monday with uh, speed extensions. I'm not here next Friday as I'm racing on the Saturday. Plus, we've got our, all of our juniors racing on that Saturday as well. Um, so it's a very long day for us. And I do want to try to keep some fresh legs for Saturday next week. But in the meantime, have a great weekend, whatever it is that you choose to do. I've been Daryl. You've been great. Thank you for joining us here at Zoom Ergos. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thank you for your company. Thanks, Daryl.